Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tarantula Cat and I'm a Tarantula Addict. Yes, I did get another new addition and I am so happy I found this. But before I tell you more about this, I had something else on my mind that I just kind of wanted to get out there. So what pretty much sparked this is there's a lot of things going on in PetTube right now. One thing I've seen a lot of people comment, pet YouTubers are hoarders. And so this has made me extremely paranoid. I've literally stopped telling people how many tarantulas I have because even off of YouTube, people will hear the number and they'll be shocked. They'll think, oh my gosh, how do you have the time to take care of them? You know, they'll act like I'm a tarantula hoarder. This made me think I know a lot of people very heavily involved in the hobby and I literally cannot name one person who has one tarantula. Like that doesn't happen. <laughs> So yes, for science purposes only, I went into a Facebook group and I just asked people to comment how many tarantulas that they currently have. And as you will see, there are quite a few people who have more than 10, 20, 30, 40, even 100 tarantulas. So it's very common for tarantula collectors to have a lot of spiders. I know some people don't really like it when tarantula hobbyists call their spiders a collection because they're living and they're animals and it sounds not great but at the same time it is a pet but it's not a pet like my bearded dragon basically you can ignore a tarantula for a week that is not neglect now any other animal that i have if i went on vacation for say a week and i left my snakes with just a bowl of water in their enclosures i would call that neglect if i went on vacation for a few weeks and I watered all of my tarantulas before I left and had, they were all fed before I left, that's not neglect because these animals don't require the same kind of care as reptiles. So that makes it possible to have a lot of tarantulas. Now let's get into the collection aspect of the hobby. The, the fact that we refer to it as a collection more often than like a pet. Do I consider them pets? Yes, I do. But I almost consider it more like a fish tank. Say you have like a 45 gallon fish tank and you have 20 fish in there. I kind of see tarantulas as the same way, except they have like separate little enclosures. People will say, well, why do you need that many tarantulas? Or why do you have that many tarantulas? Or why do you want that many tarantulas? And it's because they're all different. I mean, they're not the same. And somebody who's completely outside of the hobby that's something that they probably don't realize. I know a lot of people I've spoke to that uh, are totally unfamiliar, they don't even realize that there's more than one kind of tarantula. I think they think it's kind of like cats where they come in all different colors and it's just like a thing. I don't think that they realize that there's like literally hundreds maybe thousands of different species of tarantulas. So what sparked this? Like like I said, you know, a lot of people on YouTube are pointing fingers at different YouTubers and saying, they're a hoarder, they're a hoarder. Oh my gosh, it scares me as a YouTuber. There's a difference between being a collector and a hoarder. An animal hoarder is somebody who has too many animals than they can maintain. An animal hoarder is somebody who starts neglecting animals because they just have too much. That is my opinion. So like I said, I got another new addition yesterday and I literally just posted a video with my M Robustum that I just got. And I like have been reading like these comments about animal hoarders and I just like got this anxiety and I was like, should I make two videos in a row announcing new additions? Will people think I'm a hoarder? And then that kind of just sparked this video. But I'm honest with you guys, I tell you what I have. I don't think I have anything that you haven't seen. So what is the new edition, cat? This is one that I am so happy about. So I have a Samulpeus Cambridgei. I have a Samulpeus sling that is either a Cambridgei or an Armenia. I do not know. I bought it as Cambridgei, but I think it looks like an Armenia. So something might have happened. And I also have a Samulpeus Pulcher. So Samulpeus are super cool, but they're super spazzy. They're super fast. And they're a little bit more venomous than most New World species. Cannot believe the pet store had this. We have gotten a new Samulpeus, the P. Redonkis. I paid $45 for this. I don't know if you can see in there, but we're a very decent size. Like this is not a small sling. 
This is about this big from what I can tell. I honestly haven't seen it out yet. From looking inside the hole, we're looking about three inches maybe, maybe two and a half, three inches. And I'm hoping so badly that it's female. addition anyway thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it every time don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not and you want to be and don't forget that i have an instagram that i use probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there all right guys i have so many awesome things in the works i will see you soon in my next video yeah that is our new addition